Julia, can I take a break? I have to use the living room. <laughs> <laughs> Shawarma is a dish in Middle Eastern cuisine consisting of meat cut into thin slices and roasted on a slowly turning vertical rotisserie, or spit. Traditionally, it's made with lamb or mutton. But if you're a JPer, how you peeing? I'm not a traditional type of guy. I'm untraditional. It's a tradition of mine. I don't celebrate Thanksgiving with my family. I do it with Julia's family. <laughs> so with that being said, we're going to attempt to make shawarma out of random things I see where I'm like, hey, looks like you could shawarma that. JP, I think at this point, everybody has had enough of the internet for the day. There are endless possibilities with heating stuff vertically, and we're gonna discover some of these today. But first, we gotta give a big thanks to Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video. Wine, consistently delivered to your doorstep on a monthly basis. It's more reliable than Julia. JP, I'm the one that ordered it. Touche. So Bright Sellers is a monthly wine delivery subscription that uses a seven question quiz to match you to wines based on your taste. So you're more likely to have something you enjoy rather than dangerously going out to the liquor store, randomly grabbing bottles of wine with zero knowledge of what's good. Shouldn't be doing that, it's not worth it. So stay home, get delivery. Learn a little bit about the wine you're drinking, like folk and fable. This red blend is bold and smoky and it gives you options on pairing. Barbecue wings, meat lovers pizza, cheeseburger shawarma. It doesn't say that. What I'm trying to say is they're helpful. And right now, we're giving you guys 50% off your first six bottle box of wine. That big box you saw, 50% off. Just click the link in the description, take the quiz, and get started. Welcome everybody to another episode of JP Makes Weird Stuff While well, Julia Does Not Approve. I got this shawarma machine on eBay, so it's reliable and safe. Ah! It's on already? It's hot in the center? Nah, nah, I just wanted to mess with you. It's gonna fall, right? So how do we fix this? The Healthy Junk Food Mug. You get it shopped at healthyjunkfood.com. Woo! It's problem solved. Now we got branding. While we build this awesome stuff that we're gonna do, we could do like a layer of Eggo and Pop-Tart. I thought you were doing a cheeseburger one. You gotta start with breakfast, right? All right, I might do a cheeseburger one. Depends on how I feel. So the process is pretty simple, guys. You just stab the skewer and then you just put different things in it. And the Eggo makes it so easy because it tells you the center cube to put it in. I'm not gonna fly before I can't swim. Or whatever the same. Do you just say you're not gonna fly before you can't swim? Oh wow, it's moving. And then we just gotta turn the heat. And then you just set it and forget it. Uh-oh, we tripped it. Uh-oh. We keep tripping the circuit breaker, so we're gonna try a different outlet in the house. I went into the circuit box, I saw a vacuum was 20 amps. So maybe that'll be enough amperage to keep this thing going without tripping. But we'll find out, let's see. We're cooking in the bathroom. You might have to. Maybe that's the title of this video, JP. Cooking shawarma in a bathroom. No. Dude, cross your fingers. And stand back with that trip you could get electrocuted. <gasps> I can't stand back any further. No, I'm just kidding, you won't get electrocuted. Oh, oh, did you electrocute yourself? It's definitely getting really hot in here though. It is warm. It's like totally cooking. Good thing that there's a bathroom fan in here. Oh my God, these Pop-Tarts are looking extra crispy. All right guys, don't do this at home. This is our new setup though. We're going to swarm in the bathroom. And ta-da, it's like eight minutes later, you got a stack of amazingness. It still wants to turn a little bit. It's probably easier when it's meat. Oh yeah, it's got like a nice char there. Dude, I'm burning my hand. JP, you should pause it. Don't let it rotate. Luckily on this camera, it's not so obvious that we are in a bathroom. Yo, this works. This works and it's cool. Like, look at this. Now this area is gonna cook. Just like the street food people do. And then we just do a little bit of syrup. <laughs> this is gross. And there it is. Pop-Tart Eggo Shawarma. Ew. That is so good. 
I can't even tell you. Like if you put chicken in that, that would seal the deal on this. But it's a little grab and go breakfast. I recommend all y'all trying this. Cooking in the bathroom? Surprisingly enough, that works. Oh, it's really good. Follow me in the bathroom with that. This is the best part. We've got the crust off first. Now you got the inner layers of like frosting and ooey gooey. This is gonna be the part that's gonna actually taste good. Whew, it is hot in there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it really is. Whew. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. It doesn't look amazing. Really? Anyone ever wanted to eat Pop-Tarts the right way, this is it. JP is trolling everybody, including me. I swear I'm being cereal. I don't think you're being cereal. I think you're being waffle. Dude, if you put ice cream in that and chicken, man. Now that we've greased our bearings, understand what that machine's capable of, we have now graduated onto bigger and better things. Let's see what we can do next. Mm. Next on our list is shawarma, Julia's idea. She said, why don't you just grab random stuff in the freezer and just stack it on a skewer and- It was a joke. Follow me, Sir Maiden. What? <laughs> now we set it and forget it. Ooh, that one looks good. <laughs> That's a good one. It's like a merry-go-round of food. Nubs. Don't do this at home, friends. Yeah, but look at these taquitos. This bathroom situation has to stop now. It has to stop. You're the engineer, you gotta figure it out. I don't know how we can do it. I don't know what we're gonna do. Julia did not approve, and now she is getting restless and impatient, and she's like, if you don't do the cheeseburger one next, I'm probably just gonna go. That's literally what I just said. <laughs> in order to have our shawarma not in the bathroom, we had to pick up a 50-foot, 12-gauge extension cord. So if you wanna do this at home, Here's the associate link. Just make sure you plug it into a wall that can handle 20 amps. You can find that in your circuit breaker, shown here. See that number by the switch? That's the amount of amps it can handle. Now we're ready to do this. Layer on the burger patty, then your cheddar cheese. A little bit of cross contamination here. I don't know if you're worried about that at all. Burger cheese, burger cheese, burger cheese, burger cheese, burger cheese. Until it's all the way up to the tippity top of the tip. And then we just throw it in the machine. Now we set it to 250 Celsius and then just set it and forget it. 12 gauge can handle 20 max amps at 50 feet. So far it's working. I don't know for how long. Oh my god, you're gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> so let's wait for it. Oh yeah, slice into that bad boy. Cheesy, ooey, gooey. Look at that. Oh my god, this is gonna taste so good. Cheeseburger swarma. Now, honey, this, I approve. I approve of this. It tastes like a barbecue. Like we're out at a picnic and we just got them right off the grill. It's got that char and every bite. Either or, friends. This might be expensive and silly. Dude, it melted. That's not good. I know. I don't want to go back to the bathroom. I got to go. Where are you going? To get another extension cord that's 10 gauge. This video will continue with a part two. When we have adequate amperage in our extension cords so we don't ruin our shawarma and we don't have to cook in the bathroom.